Nairobi Expressway Project Kenya The JKIA Westlands Highway, also referred to as the Nairobi Expressway, is a planned toll road in Kenya and will connect Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to the community of Rironi, which is located in Kiambu County and is located along the Nairobi Limuru Road. The undertaking was brought to public attention in 2019 with the expectation that it would be finished in 2021. However, this did not occur. The completion of the project in 2022 brought the people of Kenya a great deal of happiness. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our Special African Development Playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship rather than global PT is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Along the Nairobi-Mombasa route, the road begins in the Mlolongo neighborhood and eventually connects with an interchange that is located on the airport south road of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The highway follows the current roadway all the way to the Likoni Road Junction, which is located around 12 kilometers down the road. The toll highway travels approximately 12.5 km northwards from the Likoni Road until it reaches the James Kichuru Road Junction. This is a distance of approximately 8 miles. From there, the route continues along the Nairobi Nakuru Road for approximately 25 km until it reaches Riboni, which is where the toll highways come to an end. The total distance traveled on the toll highway is approximately 50 km. This route is intended to reduce the amount of traffic coming from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport towards the central business district of Nairobi. There are also plans to improve transport from central Nairobi with the goal of reducing the number of departing passengers who are forced to miss their flight as a result of being held up in a road traffic jam on the city streets. The plan will involve widening the existing road to a four-lane one-way configuration for a total of eight lanes and adding pedestrian walkways, drainage channels, flyover bridges and street lighting. This toll road will be constructed through a publicly-private partnership with the Kenyan government having entered into a contract with China Road and Bridge Corporation to do so. The enlargement of the road, as well as the interchanges and toll stations, will be paid for by the CRBC using its own funds. They will continue to do so until the initial investment has been recouped. At which point, the road will be given back over to the government. The extension of the road is scheduled to be completed in stages. The World Bank has expressed an interest in becoming a sponsor of the development of the road. However, the plans for this has been rendered obsolete by recent developments. It is estimated that the toll road will set drivers back between 51 billion Kenyan shillings and 65 billion Kenyan shillings. Uhuru Kenyatta, the current president of Kenya, is responsible for initiating the development of a road project known as the Nairobi Expressway, which is receiving funding from the government of China. The aim of the project is to lessen the amount of congestion that can be found in Nairobi, which is the nation's capital. China Roads and Bridge Corporations, the firm that finance and build the project, will use the proceeds from the tolls that are collected. CRBC plans to make use of the money made from the tolls in an effort to get its initial investment back and make a profit. In accordance with the terms of the deal, the China Communications Construction Company, a wholly owned subsidiary of the China Communications Construction Company, will be awarded a concession to manage the road for a period of 30 years, during which time it will also be responsible for the road's construction. According to projections made by the Kenya National Highways Authority, the amount of time required to finish the construction will take around three years. According to reports from the Xinhua News Agency, the construction of the road was anticipated to have a total cost of $599 million. The expressway was not an exception to the rule as there is no such thing as a project that is completed flawlessly. The number of trees that were being chopped down to make way for a toll highway that will stretch for 27 kilometers and connect Nairobi's Kenyan Business District to Kenyan International Airport caused the president of the city to be concerned. The highway will connect Nairobi Central Business District to the airport. It was planned for the tree on Walakai's Way that was as tall as four-story buildings and was revered as sacred by Kenya's largest ethnic group, the Kikuyu, to be cut down and moved so that room would be made for a pillar that would support the elevated road. The Kikuyu are Kenya's most numerous ethnic group. However, when the Kenya National Highways Authority published that proposal, things did not go as planned and things did not proceed as planned. It prompted a protest movement among people who were furious about the disappearance of green spots in the city and the tree became a symbol of their worries as a result of this protest campaign. As a result of this, Major General Mohamed Badi, the Director General of Nairobi Metropolitan Services, called a press conference to announce the creation of more green spaces 
and to relay the news that a presidential decree had been issued ordering the trade to be left alone. The press conference was held in order to announce the creation of more green spaces. He claimed that we have plans in place to create new neighborhood parks within our residential estates for the community to enjoy recreational places and spaces close to their homes. These new parks will be built so that residents can have access to recreational areas without having to travel far. As a direct result of the decision, CRBC and the Kenya National Highways Authority were able to reach a consensus over the new path that the road will take. The completion of the Chinese-funded and built Nairobi Expressway has been met with elation by drivers in Nairobi, which is located in Kenya. A significant portion of it is elevated and runs from the western edge of the city to the southeast corner. It connects Jomo Kenyatta International Airport with the central business district within the city. On Saturday, May 14th, the Toad Highway began accepting test traffic from registered drivers as part of a trial run in advance of its original opening in the coming weeks. A China Road and Bridge Corporation began construction on its October 2019 and completed it in fewer than the three years that were initially intended. According to James Macharia, who serves as the Cabinet Secretary for Transport, it is one of the most impressive pieces of infrastructure that has ever been constructed in Africa. 11,000 drivers in Kenya have already signed up to participate in the trial, and it is anticipated that the total number of participants will end up being close to 50,000. The trials will be carried out for approximately three to four weeks. The fact that journeys that used to take hours in Nairobi traffic could now be completed in minutes during the trial run delighted motorists. Drivers in the city of Nairobi, which is the African nation of Kenya, are overjoyed with the recent completion of the Chinese-funded and built Nairobi Expressway, which has been met with elation. It connects Jomo Kenyatta International Airport with the central business area and a substantial amount of it is elevated. It extends from the western edge of the city to the southeast corner. Thank you for watching. If you loved this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If this video made you believe you too can be wealthy and can pursue your dreams, let us know in the comment section. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more amazing content. Help our channel grow.